the trajectory of this object is very peculiar. Uh, it actually lies in the orbital plane of the planets around the sun, within five degrees or so. And uh, that is a, a coincidence that has a chance of 0.2%. Think about um, uh, um, uh, driving your car. In one hour, you uh, traverse a distance that this object is traversing in one second. The other unusual fact about its trajectory is that it comes very close to the inner planets other than Earth, uh, like uh, Jupiter, Mars, <clears throat> or Venus. And the chance of that happening, given the trajectory, um, one can change the arrival time of this object, and only in one in 20,000 cases, you end up with uh, such a close proximity to the planets because they orbit around the sun and the chance of being so close to them uh, is very small. So the unusual trajectory of this object uh, offers the possibility that it might have been designed uh, so as uh, to have some goals of a reconnaissance mission. So it's possible that it's a comet, but if that's the case, it will become very clear as it comes closer to the sun and gets heated uh, so that its uh, evaporation rate uh, gets much larger. Uh, and then the glow of uh, dust and gas around it should be apparent. It's irresponsible science. This is just coincidence, the path that it comes through the solar system. Um, there's a perfectly natural explanation for this. It is behaving like a regular comet, and the comet is just one of these primordial building blocks of planets made of dust and ice, and when it gets closer to the sun, the sunlight warms up the ice, and then it goes directly from a solid to a gas and pushes the dust off. So this looks just like a normal comet. Um, it's developing a little tail. It's getting brighter as it gets closer to the sun. Um, we know a few things about it, but everyone's intensively studying it with the hope that we get the final size of the body and especially the chemistry, because that's what gives us a really good look at the, the processes going on elsewhere. We are a relatively young technological civilization, and one can imagine a more advanced civilization having an agenda, some goals uh, that are long-term in interstellar space, and uh, therefore, uh, we might find probes that are still functional and are entering the solar system with a purpose. And the question is, what is that purpose?